Super quick one today. What we found is the ability to make some cool business cards on the K40 laser cutter. Uh, I'll post the links to the files down below so you can just copy mine and edit them uh, no problem. Links to these will be down below. These are the blanks. These are the anodized uh, or I guess powder coated or anodized uh, aluminum business cards. Quite cheap. Um, little slow boat from eBay to get them. What I did is I'll overlay on the screen how I did this, but in Inkscape, I just made a business card. Inkscape is completely free and you can download it from their website, install it on your PC and pull in the file that I provided down below and you end up with this. The vector cut outline is a red outline around the outside. You can use that just to align your card and your laser cutter by taking a, a weak cut. But then we want to go ahead and edit our text to suit whatever your name and your contact details are, delete the logo and bring in your own logo. You'll want to bring in a monochrome logo if you can because we're going to have to recolor it here. Uh, it came in way too big so use the control key to maintain aspect ratio as you resize it and place it in your business card however you like. No problem. Also, it's probably easiest to use a PNG file like I did here. Uh, even easier would be a vector graphics file if you have it, but the PNG works just fine. I get it resized, drag it around till I'm happy here, and then we're going to colorize it so the laser cutter knows what to do with it when we go to raster it. We're going to go to colorize, and we're going to change it to blue. We want it to be entirely blue because K40 Whisperer understands that as a raster engrave, so no problem there. That's all there is to it. We can save this out, but before we do, we need to make sure that we resize to fit the document. So we just go to, to the file properties here and resize it so that we don't have anything outside the area or uh, incorrectly sized for our laser cutter to understand. Easy, nothing to it. Just the resize page to drawing selection and you're all set. Save it out. I use a cloud service like Google Drive or Dropbox to sync it out to my outdoors PC and then we can pull it into the laser cutter. No problem. Another really fun option would be to have your business card as a printed circuit board. For that, you could go to PCBWay.com. That's where I get all my printed circuit boards made. They do a fantastic job at an amazing price, and their quality is second to none. Check them out at PCBWay.com. And you can edit the bottom one as you see fit. And then uh, what I did is pulled it into K40 Whisperer. And what we do is we're just doing a raster engrave. First thing I did is I did a vector cut on low power to make uh, an outline for my card to set my cards into. I just used a piece of scrap material. And then you set it to a raster engrave in K40 Whisperer, and we do a raster engrave, which is what it's doing now. And just zooming along, and they turn out just quite beautifully. I'm super, super happy with these. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, nothing to it. Videos to the K40 laser cutter are on my channel, you can check them out, but uh, this is an easy way to make a unique business card that pretty much nobody else has, and uh, at a very, very low cost, pretty much probably about the same cost as a, a paper one, to be honest. They're not cheap to have printed. Uh, the blanks are cheap and just takes you a little bit of time. They're, they're quite slow, it takes a little while to make, to raster engrave it, as you can see here, but pretty cool. You want to stand out in the crowd? Well, it's one way to do it in case uh, we ever go back to using business cards ever again if COVID would let up. Cheers, guys. Okay, I like this one even better. That looks even better than the first version. That's pretty cool for a laser cut business card. <laughs> kind of neat. What a good use for the K40.